She's like, I don't even care. I don't even want this stuff. She takes it up and she started like, I don't want this. I don't want this. Get rid of it. She took a sausage, threw it at my head. She threw a sausage at your head? Yeah, that was awful. And it was like, That's so rude. Would you believe that people who work in customer service are real human beings that you should treat with respect? <laughs> That's crazy, right? <laughs> gonna use that blind well it's not customer service it's grocery stores okay well same yeah. thing <laughs> can you believe that people who work in a grocery store are human beings wow they're trying to get rid of them did you see that <laughs> Why, jeff bezos what? is trying to get rid of everyone who works at grocery stores even you're kidding i don't okay you haven't seen those stores where you walk in and you like there's no one who works there the store is just perfect and then you like put the things in your cart and it automatically makes you pay for it when you walk out you know I, I knew that was like a thing coming, but I didn't know yeah. that was a, established like, already. I think there's like two of them in LA. Hi guys, it's Rebecca Rogers. I'm so happy that you guys are here today and I'm so excited to introduce you to my wonderful friend, Ryan Prunty. Thanks for having me, appreciate I'm, it. I'm so happy that you came and hang out with me. I'm and... excited, this is cool. Podcasting is a whole thing that I'm not used to, so. No, we're gonna have so yeah, much fun. We're just gonna have a yeah, conversation. Yeah. So tell me, tell okay. me and everyone All listening right. and slash watching your journey. What okay. is it that you do? When you say journey, is it like how I- One day I was born. No. <laughs> that far back? No, I was going to no, no. ask. I was like, is this everything? No, or? just kind of, you know, you, you are now also a full-time content creator. I am. So You obviously started elsewhere, you know, mm -hmm. in a past life. You did work at a grocery store. I did work at a grocery store. For like store. over a year. Over a year. That's a long time. Best old, time of my life. How old were you when you did that? I think I was, I think in New York, when you can start having a job, it's like 15 or 16. Okay, that's a long time for a teenager to have a job like that. Yeah. So, so and it was my first real that's job. That's significant. Yeah. I, let's, let's, hmm. How do I get into this? So you can start working at like 15 or 16. Right. Right. I, my, this, I'm not trying to get into this whole thing, but my parents okay. made me go to church every Sunday. Okay. And it's not that I didn't like going, but it's that I hated being told what to do. Okay. So my mom actually put down the like, okay, you don't want to go to church on Sundays. You have to get a job. It's okay. like the moment you get a job and you go to work instead of going to church, that's fine. And you don't have to go anymore. So instead of being told what to do to go to church, I just decided for some reason getting a job and, and getting told, told what to, what to do, do yeah. all day and getting bullied by like every customer <laughs> was a better choice. So I got that job, had that for like a year okay. and a half. And then I worked a ton of other random jobs after that. And then I got into YouTube, ended up moving down to Virginia. Carter started his YouTube channel and I started working with him and I was basically like his operations guy, like hiring people, firing people, being in the videos, like everything across the board. Sometimes, and this is kind of messed up, when you are just working for someone who's a big creator, people will walk like right over right. you. They, they you know what I mean? Yes. And it, I was literally thinking that was like, should I mention that? Like, yeah, yeah, which is a very unfortunate reality in the mm -hmm. sphere of like, people see your content and they're like, oh, that's a cool person. I want to be their friend. But yeah. people who are not necessarily... It yeah. is the heartbeat of the yeah. channel. Just, yeah. I don't know. So I struggled with that a lot. What, what do you think you got the least respect in being behind the scenes of a content creator or being a just, grocery store worker probably grocery store if i'm being honest okay no one was nice okay well, nobody that's not, that's not true okay i mean i shouldn't say that i feel like i've never been more disrespected and if we're going back to the gro grocery store thing i was a cashier uh -huh. right i was hired they hi it's almost always at grocery stores it's usually younger people getting hired especially in smaller towns okay because that's how people get the intro to their job I applied to three different grocery stores because I was like, yeah, someone will hire me somewhere. It's a job that pays minimum wage. Right. 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 Once you get started, there's all the training and you're basically just learning like you have to be the brightest, happiest version of yourself. You have to be smiling at everybody. Please. Thank you. Strike up a conversation. Tell the old lady she looks nice today. Like that's what they train you to do. Right. Customer service voice. Yeah. yeah customer service voice, which I, I can't tell if I still do sometimes. Did you ever work at customer service? Yeah. Well, I, I worked at... Well, first of all, I was a teacher. Which is, that's not, that's not customer Because <laughs> I feel like... Have you ever been to a parent-teacher conference? I haven't. Well, that's interesting. Are they mean to you at a parent-teacher conference? Oh, my god! No, they're not. Are you kidding? Are they mean to you? What? You're messing with me. Why wouldn't they I, be... Are you being serious You're, right like, now? fully responsible for their child. Shouldn't they yeah. be, like... What do you mean? Why doesn't Jimmy have an F? What are you doing wrong? You said Jif Jimmy hit Susie? You're lying. Jimmy would never do that. Oh. Jimmy's a perfect angel. Parents are, like, the ultimate gaslighters. That's crazy. <laughs> yes. Really? They are, yes. Dude, okay, so. Jimmy doesn't have an A, I'm gonna get you fired. Sarah, people threaten to fire you? Oh my gosh. I don't know all this. I'm like. Okay, so you have worked at customer service. Like, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think about it on the parent side because I feel like the kids would be more afraid slash respecting you for the most part. Oh my God. I don't know, I've never. I've worked with teenagers. Okay, so they're like hormonal and mean. 
Yeah, like okay. the ultimate gaslighters. Okay. Ms. Rogers, I like turn this in. I promise, you probably just lost it. Open your bag they right now. They just lie straight it's to right. you. Oh my God, yeah, they lie straight to your face. Dang, their teeth. Did you not hear me when we when we did Carter's Don't Leave the Circle thing? Mm -hmm. Literally, so fun fact, I was on Team Rogers Don't Leave the Circle video. <laughs> and the final two, Yeah. like, first of all, I'm gonna be honest. I, I literally thought they asked me Ryan knows this. I thought they asked me to be in this video because they wanted me to do like something silly and no. like get out in a funny way. They're like, no, 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 this is like a real thing. And I was not expecting Which if, it. If we took too much of your time, I'm sorry. No, but no, I feel no. like you walked away with a... I, I won. I, I won a lot of money. Yep. And the final two contest was literally like a, we each had a suitcase and we flipped a coin. Mm -hmm. And I said head, she said tails. Mm -hmm. And it was head. So yeah. she got to look in the suitcase and close it. Yeah. And then I got to ask her whatever I wanted. And I had to determine by her answers mm -hmm. if I wanted to keep or switch suitcases. Mm -hmm. And one had the money and one didn't. <laughs> and I I literally said, I know that I have the suitcase because I used to have people lie to me for a living. I used like, to those teenagers lying to my about, face. I didn't think about the fact that you could basically just see through a lie. Yeah. By the way. Long story short. Yeah. yeah. Teenagers lie to your face. Okay. So teaching is abusive. Tell me more about grocery stores. <laughs> so working in a grocery store, I was a cashier. Right. People are so mean to cashiers, and I think people with yeah. grocery in general. And it's not everybody, I'll be honest. Right. But there's something about the fact that this is a person who you have, It's this is a random person that you have some sort of authority over that just brings out the worst in some people, where they'll like, they'll swear at you. You can tell they're having a bad day. You don't do anything wrong. You just, you're not quite fast enough, or you try to talk to them, and they'll curse you out. They'll tell you're an idiot. They'll... I don't know. They just like degrade you, right? Yeah. For no reason. It's uh, you're bringing me back so, to a dark place. <laughs> so I'll I'll give your brain yeah. a give me a, a break. Yeah. Someone sent me a story, and okay. like everything that you're saying, there's so many stories in my head right now because so many people were like, Rebecca, let me tell you about what this what this person did to me when I was a cashier at a grocery store. Okay, what so do you got? one example was um this cashier at a grocery store. The card reader was kind of being wonky with the touch screen, oh, right? right? So this lady used her debit card to pay mm -hmm. and it asked, hey, do you want cash back? And she went to go push no. And the cashier was like, oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Our touch screen has been a little wonky lady lately. You need to use the pen or else it's been misreading. Mm -hmm. And the lady literally looked at her and rolled her eyes and just like went back to trying to push the thing. And she said, ma'am, I highly work. encourage you yeah. to use the pen. And she said, mind your own business. Why are you bothering me right now? Like, stop telling me what to do. So she went to hit no, but the reader read it as, yes, please, $60. Oh. Because the, yeah, I guess it was right above the no. Yeah. And so, so it, just... it just read it as $60. Oh, no. All of a sudden, she just lost it. I said no. Why are you trying to take $60 out of my account? You did it on purpose. You must have manually You're... pushed it on your end. Yeah. I need that money in my account to pay my bills this week. And now, yeah. now what am I going to do? And she just was berating this woman. All she had to do was follow the instructions. And she did. And use the pen That's... and just do what she was told. And literally the manager came out and showed there's no way oh, to for the cashier to have hit anything manually. Yeah. No way. There's something about the fact that people, like people who, I'm, I don't want to be mean on this. No, you're, you're, you're fine. Some people, Speak your truth. Some people are really dumb. In, oh no. In what? No, I'm being honest. Oh, like, no. Some people are dumb and then they, like this woman, I'm sorry, was being, maybe she's not dumb in general, she's being dumb, right? That's a nice way to say it. She was being a dumb She's being ignorant. She's being ignorant. Right. But then the moment something doesn't go their way, it's just point fingers and blame somebody else and freak out at them. And for some reason, you're the cashier, it's your fault, you did this, right? Even though I tried to help you, I tried to tell you the right way to do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, okay, so similar, similar story. I am ready, I'm ready. Woman was checking out. Mm -hmm. She had like eight, nine items. I don't remember what they were. I only remember what one item is, and I'll come back in in a minute. So she's checking out. I rang her up. She put her card in. Card declined. Mm -hmm. Instantly not my fault. I have nothing to do with your card getting declined. Oh, try it again, please. Sometimes it doesn't take. Classic right. line. Grocery store people, you know. Right. Cashiers say that. Um, she tries again. Doesn't work. Uh, or it's like insufficient funds. I don't remember. It's been a while, right? So I've called the manager over. He explains that, yeah, uh, she probably has insufficient funds. Let's try taking a few things off and then run it again. So my manager leaves. 
I take off the two or three items the lady wants me to take off. I take off, I don't know, like a thing of like broth and like vegetables or something. Run it again. Still doesn't work. I think it's still insufficient funds. I'm like, hey, this isn't working. I don't need, do you have a different card? Do you have cash or anything else? She says, no. She's like, try it again. I'm like, ma'am, it's like not going to work. That's the wrong thing to say. Don't say that. <laughs> Should have said that. And then she gets really worked up, like the most worked up I've ever seen anybody ever. And she's like, starts yelling at me. She's telling me that I'm doing something wrong. Like, just do it again. Like, I'm an idiot. It's not working. She starts like, she's like, I don't even care. I don't even want this stuff. And she like starts grabbing things like, you know how there's like the belts? Yeah. It's one of those yeah. grocery stores where the belt goes like across you and it goes to the end where you can like package it. Right. Or you can um bag it. She takes stuff and she started like, slide like, I don't want this. I don't want to get rid of it. She took a sausage, threw it at my head. She threw a sausage at your head? Yeah, that was awful. And it was like, that's so rude. Out. And this is super weird that I remember exactly what the sausage looked like, but it wasn't like a package of them. It was like one bigger one that was like, like the, in a, the it, was, it was in like a U shape, yeah, like a horseshoe the shape. Sausage. And it was, yeah. And she like took it, she's like, yeah. And like threw it at my head. And it was, it wasn't overhand. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend it was overhand, but she still like chucked it like at me. And I was like, okay, um, I'm just gonna leave. And then my manager came over, like made her leave the store. And she, and I don't, cause it's one of those situations. You don't know what someone's going through. Maybe they're struggling financially. I'm 15 or 16 years old. I don't know what you want me to do, right? So that was awful, right? Oh my gosh. It's just, I don't understand why people flip out. And then she like stormed out of the store. She like ran off. It was like a whole thing. So not ever see her again. I don't think so. I don't think if I were her, I would ever go back there. <laughs> yeah. Cause that's, that's yeah. like a full adult temper tantrum. Like she looked like a normal, like mom stereotypical character. That's all I remember, right? See, I, there are some people mm -hmm. that have those temper tantrums that like don't, they're not self-aware enough. How? How is that possible? How I'm are you telling you? How are people okay? Because you see videos on the internet all the time of people just like losing their and right. This is, right. This is the type of temper tantrum that it was like 20, 30 seconds long, right? So it wasn't like a second of being frustrated. Mm -hmm. It was like yelling and freaking out for like 20, 30 seconds. If people were more on their phones back then, this would have been on TikTok and people would have seen it. Oh yeah. I promise. It's enough where people are like, whoa, why is this lady like this? I don't understand how people, and again. I just, I feel bad saying this because I, I, I understand that you don't know what people are going through, but how are adults not self-aware enough, especially in like a digital era to know, to not, know to not do that stuff. Do you know what I mean? Boy, and it really bothers. I got some stories for you. <laughs> one more, one more tidbit, which is like a happy ending okay, to this, okay. is that after there was another woman in line and you know, like when you're in public and someone's being like kind of wild, you just kind of stand there like, whoa. Oh, right yeah she right, at the right. very end she walked up and she like bought me a snickers bar and was like oh. she's like oh, i'm sorry honey here you go and i was like okay that's, that's very nice. so sweet so like i remember the two parts you know the good yeah. and the bad yeah, yeah. Like, that was definitely the most absurd a customer's ever been in terms of just like why are you like this you yeah. know what i mean yeah well um maybe we think of another story someone Hit sent me. in where there was a cashier at a grocery store who saw their friend in another aisle also a cashier just get screamed at mm. by this older woman, like screaming her head off, cussing, all these expletive words. Like it was, it was rough. And they mm. had to get a manager. They had to get security and escort her out. So once it was all kind of settled and done, he walked over and was like, "Hey, what was that all about? What happened?" Mm. Apparently, this woman, while she was in line, saw that one of the magazines on display had Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie on the cover. And she doesn't think that they should be married. Okay. So how dare they sell a magazine that has the two of them on the cover because it's just inappropriate and he should be ashamed of himself. First of all, I don't know what's going on with Bert Crowley <laughs> over there. They're, right? they're separated okay. now or they're divorced but now or something. What? Your cashier has nothing to do with that. <laughs> they are the literally the cashiers and the people who stock the shelves are like, there's not a there's not a really big hierarchy in a grocery store, but they're the lowest ones there. If there is a hierarchy, they're at the bottom. Yes. So like, why are you yelling at this random person who's just doing their job? I don't. It just <laughs> like, it what doesn't do they have to do with any of. It? I don't think I've ever yelled at a stranger in my life, ever, unless I was like doing a sport or something and like I'm playing it right. Like yes. I don't think I've ever yes. just been like, hey, you some blah blah blah. Right. I don't. Yes. Also for something that ridiculous makes <laughs> like. In what world, what is going through your mind to assume that A, sure. this cashier has anything to do with Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie being married? Two, yeah, it doesn't make anything sense. to do with them being on the cover? Three, anything to do with this large chain grocery store Putting selling that yeah. magazine? Look, 
What? Yeah, I don't get How it. How does that make any sense? I don't get it. People just, they freak out and it's... Like I had, I had more than my fair share of just like rude old men who, because I'm like a kid at the time and I was still really short then. So I was like a really tiny guy. Right. Right. Just like swear at you for no reason. And they would just call you an idiot, an effing idiot. Like, oh my God. Grumble at you, tell you you're dumb, tell you you have no idea what you're doing. Like. Do you ever have someone spit at you? I don't think I've heard. Someone? I feel like I would really remember that. No, I don't think so. Uh, I'm glad not because that would really bother me. Someone else sent me a story of how a customer spit at them Mm. because um, they were helping a customer and their manager walked over and was like, hey, just letting you know, like, this is your last customer. After that, you have to go. It's time for you to clock out, that kind of thing. So this has got to be your last one. So they took a little sign. They would have a sign that they put at the beginning of the conveyor belt that says, hey, this lane will be closing. No more customers after this point. Please go find another register or go to Mm self-checkout. So this man approached, looked at the sign, (laughs) like clearly read it, and just picked up the sign and moved it out of the way. And started putting all of their items on the little conveyor belt. Just leave it. Just let them do it. The cashier looked at them and said, oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. This lane is closing. This is my last customer that I'm finishing up. And then I've got to go ahead and I have to leave. I will be closing this lane. He's like, oh, I only got a few items. Like, it's fine. Like, no, you can do this for me. And they're like, no, sir, I'm so sorry that my manager says that I have to go. Yeah. Well, it's only going to take a few seconds. And he's like, "It, it doesn't matter. My manager says I have to leave. Oh, well, you young people just it's, don't want to work anymore. And you know one wants to do their job. It's it's the young people. Shame on you. Spit at him that's and ridiculous. walked away. I feel like that's a crime. <laughs> that should, you should go to jail for that. <laughs> the and, age is over. Have you heard the, isn't there a saying like young people? Okay, so please and thank you. Right. Like old people say you're welcome because you're doing an old person's doing you a favor but young people say no problem because they don't think about it i've never heard that it's some it's some interesting phrase i heard once where there's a difference in generation again i apologize if you're of the older generation i'm absolutely (laughs) roasting you right now we we don't do we don't do um uh, absolute statements yeah Yeah, so it's a general thing it's it's, yeah this is definitely not everybody right and if you are someone in the older generation that's like oh yeah i feel that then we're obviously not talking about you but if you're someone that feels like really targeted then how about this uh... i'm just talking about my grandma specifically (laughs) which is true yeah Uh, she is okay it's not everything is you're doing a a lot for somebody if you ask somebody a favor it's very you're welcome i didn't have to do that for you but also the flip is in customer service they are like really a servant to you they owe you everything everything has to go your way the customer is always completely right also not true terrible phrase (laughs) this isn't the real phrase like the customer is always right in matters of taste is that the full phrase? I'm pretty sure the real phrase is like customer is always right in matter of taste in something else, but not all the time. But it's shorthand like to teach your the people who work for you just to take all the BS from everybody. You. I'm no. pretty sure this is I'm pretty sure this is like a real thing. Okay. While while Avery is looking up mm-hmm. that phrase, I have a mm-hmm. the customer is never right. The customer is never right. Sorry for you. Sorry. Yes. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. Um, there was another grocery store, you know, some of those grocery stores have food bars in them. Mm-hmm. And they're, if they're some really big ones, have multiple food bars. And what you do is you either take the specific box or the barcode sticker that goes with whatever specific food bar that you're using. Mm-hmm. So at this one grocery store, this guy walked up and took a box and just filled the entire thing up with olives. But he didn't take the first of all, first, olive bar. First of all, weird. <laughs> Don't do that. That's too many. You go buy a jar of all olives and then it's not weird. Right? Wait, it's that's bizarre. Know. Come on. I don't really eat olives, so I don't, I don't know what the what the social like norm for eating the olives. The social norm are. is I don't, don't fill an entire <laughs> pail full of olives. Like he got a whole little little salad box of olives. Are talking like a like a salad box or talking like one of those like, hey, here's a whole salad meal box. I don't know. Cuz if it's sure. this, that's a problem. They just said that he went to the olive bar. So like maybe it was Why is like Why there an olive bar? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Some people really like like my dad would definitely go to an olive Fancy bar. Fancy grocery store. Yeah. Nice. It's probably like I don't I don't want to, you know, that like really fancy one. 
the one that's the one around here. Yeah, there's, there's a few of them. We love that one. That is, I, yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the grocery store that rejected my application. And I had to go how work at this other less good they? grocery store. Hey, how dare they? had me in for three interviews. Oh. And this is, that bother, That still bothers me to this day. <laughs> that hurts you to your core. Dude, I interviewed three times and then they found on the third interview that I wasn't good enough to get hired at that grocery store. How is that possible? Rude, rude. Well, so... I'm great at customer service. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you have a great customer service voice. Hey, yeah, of course. Whatever you want. Customer's always right. Yeah. Big smile. No, I'm not like that. <laughs> I, used to, I used to be very much just like... Because the thing is, customer service, you're like taught to just let people steamroll you. Yeah, no. I just can't do that anymore. No, you tell them no with a smile. Yeah. But... <laughs> no. So any, anyways, this... Sorry, this yes. No, you're fine. We All both the have, bar. We both have ADHD. Like that, as y'all can probably yes. tell. It's, it's okay. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, it's <laughs> making me... <laughs> Do you ever just forget what you were talking about completely? Sometimes I'm so unfocused that like I will start a conversation and then it'll just go through so many tangents. You're like, where were we? Like, there there have been times in my Bad Apple series where I was like, I told this story and I don't know why, but that's okay. Yeah. It was a fun story. No. Um, olive bar. Olive bar. So they obviously had an olive bar. This guy filled up his entire box with olives and then walked over to mm. self-checkout, but he didn't grab the correct, he didn't grab a barcode. So it was going to... I guess count it as the least expensive food bar. <laughs> One olive. Right. I don't, I don't. I don't know the details, sure. but I know that wasn't going to count it right. Yeah. And so. One of the employees walked up and was like, sir, just checking, did you grab the barcode for the olive bar? And he mm. just kind of like waved her off and started like weighing his mm -hmm. whatever. And she's like, sir, I'm sorry. I'm just letting you know that if you don't grab the correct barcode, then it's not going to register as, you know, the olives that you purchased and our inventory is going to be way off. So it's my job to just make sure that you grab the right barcode. Also, you're stealing, potentially. Yes. Well, then he turns around and he goes are you accusing me of stealing these olives? <laughs> and she goes, I'm not, an, I'm not accusing you of stealing yeah. at all. I'm insinuating that you don't have the correct barcode mm. to check out. Well, then he just starts calling her slurs, starts oh. cussing her out, yelling and screaming, how dare you? I'm a customer. And how dare you accuse a customer of stealing? Yeah. And she's like, you kind of... <laughs> you like you are stealing these wow. olives. How does that have to do with bring? Why bring race into that? Also, like what? I've also I must say, I will also say maybe I came into this conversation thinking that I had bad stories, but these stories are so much worse. No, it's maybe okay. I lived a very like, safe and easy like cashier life. I don't know. No, it's okay. I want to hear yours too. Okay, keep going. Well, <laughs> that's well, so no, he awful. Just, he called the manager over, and he and he called the manager over, and he was like, "This employee is accusing me of stealing." Blah blah blah. blah. And the employee is like, "He's." literally verbally abusing me and the man said i feel like if you're going to accuse a customer of stealing then you deserve everything that i said ew ew, yeah, yeah. ew. ew. that's ew. people are gross sir you were stealing the olives you were stealing yeah. them well because it, it would bring up as something that was like a dollar as opposed to your four hundred dollars of olives. <laughs> some expensive olives they are they're they're valuable i've right? never actually bought olives i don't know how much i don't eat olives at all. i don't either yeah they're, i had one once and i wanted to throw up my dad likes to make like side note my dad likes to do like let's make pizzas at home i thought you were to be like my dad makes martinis and like, no, no 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 my dad will be like let's all make like homemade pizzas and then the family just like puts a bunch of olives and i was like y'all make your pizzas and i'm gonna go buy one down the street do you know what's tough is having a girlfriend who has terrible taste in food uh what <laughs> what because she dude Everything she likes about a pizza is everything that I think is the worst ingredient. What does she like on a pizza? Mushroom, Ew. olive. Oh, no. Vegan cheese. Throw her away. Throw her <laughs> away? Oh, she's like, you never heard that phrase? Like Throw when her you, away? So you like, no. like, usually when like a girl's like, oh, my boyfriend likes um, oh, throw him olives. Away. Like, oh, throw the whole boyfriend away. Oh, Like, you've never heard no, that? I haven't, but I like it. I'm not sorry. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, I don't like. I've I'll never met your girlfriend, but you know I really want to be her friend. I don't, actually, I don't actually mean throw her away. She's very. Her her one interesting quirk is at the moment you have to meet her twice. Okay. Because the first time, <laughs> I don't know if I'm just like absolutely like outing my girlfriend right now. <laughs> it's with so much love. Yeah, it's all with love. But like she, the first time, she she is the nicest in real life. She is the nicest person ever. Uh -huh. But the first time you meet her, she is even more of that to a point where she's like just trying to make sure that. You're she's, accommodated. She's very accommodated. She's a golden retriever. That's a, that's a great way to put that. Actually, yeah. yeah that's You're much better with your words than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very blunt with the things that that's I say. That's okay. You can be blunt. Because so the, the first time, like, 
So she, when she calls someone on the phone, that's the perfect example of how she like acts when you first meet her. Hey! Oh my God. How so are I you? would love to get a reservation for two. Yes, thank you so. And you're like, that's not how you speak. You just called me an idiot ten seconds ago. Like, <laughs> like that she has the phone voice. Yeah, she has such a phone. See, voice. but I speak You'll that way that. on the phone too. But that's also how I talk. That's not how you talk. Yeah, it is. No, I'm talking of a more. Oh. Like imagine like, you know, when someone's speaking and the end of their sentence goes up. Yeah. Like. Oh, like that. Like that. A little bit, but like every single sentence. Yeah. We're really good. This is a really attention. That's okay. I love her dearly, and you will meet her. She's yeah. Gonna be great. I'm. She's gonna be wonderful. Yeah. Um. She loves olives. No. Maybe she was the person from the she story. She was the person. I would hope she's not yelling slurs at random yeah, people. Yeah. No, I that would. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she's with that in either. So you said that your stories are a whole lot tamer. A little bit, like the worst. So I just because I only have a few very distinct things. Okay, like, I'm, ready. Other, I'm ready. I'm ready for other... another one. This isn't customer related, but this okay. was like my okay. second day of work. Uh huh. And when I first started, I think it was for the first two weeks, they have you do this sh uh, shelf stocking. So you like learn the layout and you're not thrown into the fire. Right. You have to like learn all the codes for all the fruit. You have to learn all that stuff, right? Like the quick codes, like 4011 right. is bananas. That's what everybody says. Is that, you remember that? 4011 If, if you were bananas. ever a cashier, the, it is, if you don't know the code for bananas, that's minimum. I, I used to know like a hundred of them, but I don't remember any of them this anymore. This is like news to me. I'm like a treat. 4022 is. It's so like you didn't really, you were not really a cashier if you don't know 4011 is bananas. I think, but it could be different from your store, but that's almost universal. I'm okay. pretty, I'm pretty sure it's like pretty universal. Cause you know, when you have like the little sticker on the fruit, yeah. there's always that little number. And it's always 4011? On bananas, unless they're organic bananas. And then there's a nine in front. Oh. Organic food's like a nine. Um, 9 40, 11. Yeah, so now you know. Oh. At least it was at the store that I used to work at, which I won't say the name of, but it's probably... Yeah, easy yeah, we're shows. protecting privacies up so, in here, yeah. So if you don't remember a few, you weren't a cashier. So they do that the first few weeks. You're just like on the floor, you're stocking shelves, you're moving things, whatever. My like second day of work, I had... They give you these little trolleys, mm -hmm. right? To stock things. Yeah, yeah. so you, you fill them with boxes or you put like... Like the big boxes that inside there's like 20 boxes of cereal. The big, okay. you put like five of those on them, right? Really right. big carts from like here to, from like me to you, big cart. And I had, I'm trying to do the math in my head, but I don't think I can do it that fast. Giant box this big, right? I had six of those mm -hmm. on this cart. And in those are just tons of cartons of eggs. Okay. Like hundreds of cartons of eggs total. Oh, wow. So I think it was a total of, I don't know how much is a carton of eggs, like depending on. I don't know. Whatever. Maybe like off. five, six hundred dollars of eggs is my guess. Oh my gosh. And within, like this guy was like, take these eggs, like take it out into the hall, turn right, go to the egg aisle, put them on the shelves, make them look nice. You have to make them look old. Yeah, That's... we're right. Aesthetically pleasing. And like, I, I, the big, I wish I could stand up, but I can't because that defeats That's the purpose okay. of a podcast. Okay. But <laughs> you're supposed to like push in front of you so you see what's happening. Uh -huh. But I mean, that's a rookie mistake. So I was dragging it behind me. <gasps> And I like walked around a quarter and I clipped a quarter and took every single box off of it at the same time and broke every single egg on like my second day ever. Oh my god! So I brought like six hundred dollars of eggs, which isn't that bad, but like it's a lot of money for eggs. Yeah. Like oh it my was, god! And I like coated the entire floor, like in this entire room. It was really bad. It was like the most embarrassing moment I think I've ever had in the workplace. Have you seen that kind of stuff happen a lot, where like food is just ruined? Yeah. I mean, there's, really? it's usually customers accidentally break stuff, and it's like one thing, like it's a jar or something. Like I've I've been the customer in the store who's accidentally dropped a jar of marinara. Dang sauce. it, Ryan! I know, and I feel <laughs> terrible because I used to be the guy who would then have to go pick it up. <laughs> so I know that, and I like this just happened to me in that grocery store the other day that we're talking about. Uh huh. But it's the one that's over near where we live. Okay. Right? Okay. And I had like a thing of like sauce, and I just it was in my hand basket, like a little hand basket, and I turned and it fell and broke. And the guy came over, and I could tell I. He was, he didn't even care. He's like, this is just my job. I don't care. And I felt so bad that I followed him to go get the brew <laughs> and I followed him back and I was just trying to like make jokes with him because I wanted him to like me because of how bad I felt. <laughs> and I felt obligated to put in the fact that like, I used to, I used to work at a grocery store. Like, I get it. I'm so sorry, man. Like, <laughs> he was probably like, go away. He's like, please, let's just let me clean up this like, this like, what was it? Like, poupon or something. I don't even know. Oh, no. I just wanted to say that word. What is that? What is it? It's like a. Trego? Re no, it was like a. It looks like mustard, but it's like more pinkish. Oh, oh, like the um, yum yum sauce? Kind that's of? what it was, I oh, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yum yum sauce. Something like that. So good. It was in glass, that's all I remember, because it shattered everywhere. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's somebody me. sent me a story about how a customer mm -hmm. like was trying to buy a giant ear of cauliflower. 
Um, but she noticed that the middle of it was discolored and like something just looked like, right. odd. Ooh. Well, it just looked odd. So she brought it to the cashier who was like, maybe we shouldn't sell that. So like yeah. they put it, like, like they took it. And then later she's like, hey, manager, like mm. come check this out. See if we need to put this either back on the shelf or if this is just done. So they took it out of the package and they could tell something looked wrong. So they cut it in half. Apparently it was rotted hollow in the core and there were hundreds of baby spiders that's disgusting spewing from the center of yeah. this hollowed out rotten cauliflower i feel like you need to just burn the store down <laughs> after that well they quickly closed the bag to try and contain that's it that's not enough um <laughs> the, every throw the store away everything is throw contaminated. the store away I burn would, it down also that's one of those things first of all i don't like cauliflower you just made me not trust cauliflower for even the rest more. of my life even more right and right i don't even eat it so I have this weird thing with like moldy food where that's that is my biggest yuck ever. Everyone, I mean, no one should like moldy food. Well, of course. Including but, blue cheese. But seeing it makes me feel really, really nauseous for some reason. And like, I, I feel don't... feel like that, that should be normal. You shouldn't is like... It, I don't like well, it. I, I feel like you shouldn't be like, oh, that's molding? Yay. No, but you know... Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You make a soft one, but there's some people who, okay, you forget something in the back of your fridge and you pull it out and it's gross. Like that will bother me for weeks. For weeks? Because then oh. I... It's just, it's so awful to look at. And this, what you just told me, is the most heinous <laughs> thing. <laughs> the fact that there's a spider nest inside of the cauliflower. Oh, uh, does that happen a lot, though? I don't think so. I was never in produce. Okay. Because I had two different types of shifts, and usually it was based on how busy it was. If it okay. was, if you are a cashier, usually if it's slow, they'll send you just off in the store, like, go fix the shelves up, make okay. them look nice. I was in, like, stocking and things Yeah, stocking. Like that. I was never in meat, and I was I was never in deli, and I was never in produce. Okay. But they always put me in the milk room, which is, like, you know, like, when there's all the milk shelves? And there's, like, a giant room behind that with just, like, right. tons and tons of milk. Yeah, I've seen, like, the inside of it at Sam's Club. And you look through it, yeah. and just people's eyes staring at you and watching you. Yeah. That does yeah, happen. Yeah. So... I would never see like really, really rotted food unless it was when they were just throwing things out. But okay. I like to hope it's not usually that gross, but every once in a while, in a while you'll just find something you're like, this has been here for years. Oh. Yeah, it's really Ew. awful. Yeah. Well, speaking of milk, this was a grocery store tip that someone Please. sent me. It was like, you need to tell everyone, like, this is important. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can confirm or deny. Are you going to say grab it from the back? Oh, that too. Oh. Yeah, if you're ever like getting milk, get it from the back. Oh, Look at the expiration Because they stock dates. it yeah. from the back yeah. and push it forward. Too. Well, they told me that usually the grocery store brand or the off brands are like the exact, when it comes to like milk, eggs. Especially water Things bottles. like that. Water, yeah. like they're the exact mm -hmm. same product, just less expensive. Yeah, it's, it's just like, brand recognition. Milk is still milk. Mm -hmm. It's still almond milk. Yeah. It's still cow milk, eggs. It still came from a chicken. Yeah. It's the exact same thing, yeah. just cheaper. So like, always do the off-brand one. Water bottles are the perfect example of that. You just there's just suppliers, and then big that I don't agree on. No, 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 no. no water no. the water bottles they no. they taste different. No, there are some. No, not not every water bottle, but okay. there are a lot a lot of name brand chain water bottles. So you know, like Arrowhead Water is a thing. I've never heard of that brand. Okay, that's because you're not from LA. That's <laughs> I, like Lake Arrowhead is a th Arrowhead Water is what well, you have is a brand name, so that doesn't work. Do we have? Do, is that at that really expensive grocery store in LA, like Erewhon? That's Erewhon. Oh, that's that like used too fancy. That place is me. actually. I was so anti Erewhon. I was just there last week and I had a smoothie from there. I was like, I kind of get it. No, it I've never really, had anything. It was Erewhon. a twelve dollars smoothie, and I was like, dang. A twelve dollars smoothie. But it was delicious, and I needed lunch, so. Um. So, I like, water try. bottles are a really good example. A lot of them are their own thing, but also, yeah, Erewhon water. Almost every grocery store that ha has almost this exact shape water bottle. It's the same water with just a different label on it. Really? Like, I know Target has their own, just like off brands. Like they, tar that would be like Target's off brand, would be like Arrowhead, right? Interesting. Milk and eggs. A lot of these distributors, all they're doing is same thing and they get to make more sales and then really nice grocery stores just makes a profit, a little bit more of a profit margin on the one that's branded, non-branded, if that makes sense. Because they're buying straight from supplier as opposed to going through a brand name. Yeah. It just depends on the product. I haven't looked into the product stuff in a long time, but yeah. That's fascinating. Did you know there's grades for food too? What, what, do, you, what do you mean? So this, uh, again, so I wasn't in produce, but like the way the U.S. agricultural economy works uh -huh. in a way is outsourcing fruits and vegetables a lot of that is outsourced out of the country sold uh -huh. as export so fruit for example like an apple great example big apple 
growing locations will grade a lot of their fruit like A, B, C, and D, right? And based on the grade, that tells where they'll sell it to. So like an A apple will potentially be sold to like high-end restaurants, like nice places exported. B could be exported. D would be chopped up, put in a can of like pre-made sliced apple, right? Like that's how they organize all of it. Do you know it's, No, is it, is it based on like aesthetic of the fruit? I think like... it's based on aesthetic and then like crop. Okay. If that makes sense. But a lot of it is aesthetic too. And it can all come from the same place. It's it can all come like... from the... Yeah, I think, I believe so. It's been a while, so. Right, but so for the most part. Don't quote me on that. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's very, food is weird. The whole idea of like going to a place to buy all your food is odd to me. I never. Is it? Isn't it? I don't know. What happened to the good old days where we were all just farming and like... I don't want to have to do that work. Don't you? I don't want someone to... Oh, I say that, but I've also... I keep telling myself I'm going to grow a garden in my backyard, but That's it never That's way happened. too much work. Yeah. That, well, no, no, no. <laughs> like, I want like, I kind of little a... tomatoes in like a pot. Like, yeah. not a not a full out, like... Yeah. I just want... I want to... Even tomatoes. that. So here's my problem. I don't like tomatoes, what? first of all. What? Don't like them. My mom made me eat a cherry tomato once when I was a kid, and it made me feel like I was going to throw up. So I've never eaten them really since. I love cherry tomatoes. The texture of like... it exploding it's the kind of eyeball freaks me out a little bit yeah but yeah. after i get over that for a second then i like it how close is a cherry tomato to a grape are they like cousins are they no i'm asking oh i don't know i know there are also grape <laughs> tomatoes right yeah are those related is the is the mouth feel of a cherry tomato the same as a grape no i think a grape feels more solid oh and i definitely don't like tomatoes so so like a a grape has the same consistency through and through because the yeah. skin is very, very thin. Mm -hmm. But a tomato, it's the skin thick is a little exterior. thicker Ugh. and the inside is complete mush. Ugh. Your description of this is making me squirm. <laughs> I don't know why. Is there any food that you've never eaten that is like very common? Never? I'm asking, right? Because like, every once in a while, so. you'll be like talking to him or something and he'll be like, yeah, I've just never had like corn. And you're like, how is that possible? Like, how have you never... No, I, so, okay, <laughs> my, when I was growing up, my mom made us participate in this thing mm. called the One Bite Club. Oh, my parents did that, the No Thank You Bite? That's what my parents did. Oh, no, no, they called it the, the One Bite Club. Yeah, so I don't just... <laughs> think there's much that I've never tried. So the One Bite Club is you have to try one bite? Yeah, just so to see if you like it or not. Your parents' definition of this was way more nice than mine. Mine was the <laughs> No Thank You Bite. If you want to not have it, you have to take a polite No Thank You Bite. Oh, <laughs> I hated it. I, that's a very people pleasing attitude. I hated that. Because they'd be like, they're like, what do you mean you don't like like cow tongue? I'm like, I know oh, I don't no. like I know I don't like this and I don't want to eat like no thank you, but try it. I'm like Cow tongue. Yeah, that's a really bad example. But Oh, well I, I let's see, what are the worst one bite clubs I've ever tried? When I was young, one was Gator Tail, which I I like. It's good. It's, yeah, it's, I've it's, had it that was too. very good. And the other might have been some kind of was octopus. It? Oh, I don't like octopus. But I don't. I don't remember. I remember looking at it, but I don't remember eating it. So I don't think the taste. It was that bad. Was bad. It scarred right. you enough where you blocked it out. Yeah, but I remember looking at it and being a little like, mm. "What is that?" This isn't. Okay. This isn't really a story. Okay. This is just a piece of advice. Okay. If you go to a grocery store and you don't know where something is, do not ask anybody where it is. Oh. What are you supposed to do? Just figure it out yourself because nothing's more embarrassing than someone asking you where something is in your grocery store and you having absolutely no idea. Do people usually not know? I had, I think seven out of 10 times, I had no clue where something was. Really? And I would just make it, that's a thing. Oh my gosh, is that a thing? When you go to a store so anywhere, like Target, if you go to a grocery store, whatever kind of store, and you ask something, if they tell you what's on the other side of the store, what they're doing is they don't know and they're going to get out of there as you walk to their side of the store. That's happened to me also. <laughs> People for sure do that. The problem is the grocery store I worked in was small enough where like you could see someone right, like five right. more times before you leave. So it didn't really work very well. But that is absolutely a tactic in bigger stores. People will definitely do that too. That's crazy. Yeah, a lot of the time, people, if, especially if they're... I think on the younger end, which could implicate, or if someone's like newer, right? Right. It's going to imply that they're like newer to the job. They definitely have no idea. That's so like, they don't quiz you on that stuff or no. anything like that? They give you, I think they give you a, a top down photo one time with like handwritten, like this is meats. This is this. Like, obviously, you know where the meat section is. You know where the, right. you know where the big stuff is. But if it's like, hey, I want this specific seasoning or like, not even seasoning, like this specific Jello, where's Great. Jello? Yeah, I was like, I have no idea. I would have no idea. That's so like when I worked at a restaurant, they would literally give us quizzes on the menu. Like we had to come in on your third shift, you got quizzed on the burgers. On your was it a nice restaurant? It was a sports bar, but like okay. every every restaurant that I've ever even talking to other like you have you have menu tests, hmm. you get tested on the menu. 
Interesting. I worked at a bar for a while, but they never quizzed me or anything. Really? Yeah. Well, it's because I was a barback, so no one cared about me. Wild. I'm, like, so intrigued. Being a barback is also arguably the worst job I've ever had. These two are tied. Oh, yeah. We're going to do another episode on that. 100%. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm just still so floored that they, like, just didn't care that you didn't know where stuff was. Yeah. Well, they didn't ask me. Well, you mean my bosses? Yeah. yeah they didn't ask me. I know where some... Okay, come on. Don't don't look at me like that. Like, well, I, no, it's not you. It's I'm more it's, surprised that in general that's not more of like a... Because, like, I get that you mostly were at a cashier, but when it, you said when it's slow, they would send you to go do whatever. And so, I, like... But think, think think about it. Let me let me break it down backwards. Okay, okay. If you don't know where something is, it's probably because you're looking for something that you don't normally buy, mm-hmm. which means most people aren't normally buying it, which means why would I have noticed where this weird thing is, right? So people are usually asking... It's not like people are asking, like, where is cheese? Like, that's so obvious. I know where that, of course, right? But when it's anything more niche than that, I'm like, I have no idea. So yes, okay, you know, fine. Go ask people where things are. (laughs) It's just me. I was just embarrassed all the time. I didn't know where anything was. I was bad at that part. I'm not going to lie. I just like, because I didn't know you were supposed to like study it. I didn't want being a cat. Well, it might, you might not be. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. If if they did, if your bosses didn't care, I guess it's not a requirement. No, my boss loved me there. Do you ever miss it? No. <laughs> Do I miss it? I don't know. Bro, no. Like, like, I know. I prefer my... Well, yeah. My, yeah. I prefer where my life has gone rather than doing that, to be honest. I mean, yeah. My boss, when I left, though, I was like... Because I left... I, I'm i 99% sure I left when I got into college. Mm-hmm. And I went and I did the whole, like, hey, I want to give him my two weeks. Like, I'm going to school. Like, I'm just not going to have time to do this on the week anymore. And I remember he, like, gave me the most sincere... This guy who I only talked to on the surface level... Nice dude. He kind of looked like Colonel Sanders from KFC. Like, oh, okay. Like, he would always wear, like, a yeah, white yeah. shirt and, like, black pants. And, and like, mustache. He had the glasses and, like, the white facial hair, white hair. I love. You know who you are. <laughs> just, be, wow. Yeah, they're going to watch this. I wonder what he's up to. I have no idea. He was a nice guy, but also a little bit of a... Interesting character? Stickler. Okay. I was okay. going to say, yeah, I was going to say, but uh, he gave me the most heartfelt sincere like eye to eye and that much was like hey you are always welcome back here and i was like like, i'm never coming back but i really appreciate this like very sincere moment that's really sweet i can't i didn't take it that way (laughs) i took it as like i was like you don't understand why i'm this person at all (laughs) like i hated being here for the last year like oh no well um I'm thinking of this other story someone sent me of like, oh my gosh, I would rather be anywhere else. So she was also cashier at a grocery store and she was checking out a lady. They were just chatting casually when all of a sudden this lady stopped mid-sentence, closes her eyes and lets up this weird kind of throne. And the cashier looked and she said, are you okay? She realized the lady was peeing. She was asking, like, hey, do, do you need to use the restroom? Like, yeah. I can, I, you can go if you, if you need. Like, she was, the cashier was panicking. Like, yeah. you know what to say at this point. The lady kind of, like, came to, opened her eyes, and started yelling at the cashier. And she's like, You made me pee myself. You, you didn't have to point out that was happening, okay? I waited in that line forever holding it, and I just couldn't hold it anymore. And you just had to draw attention to that. Like, you couldn't just do me a solid, like, discreetly just clean it up after I left. You had to just point it out and embarrass me in front of the entire line. And the cashier's like, there's a puddle on the Like, I think ground. other people notice, too. I think everyone is aware I, I almost, of what just happened. I almost feel like she did that on purpose. You like, think? her goal for the day was to go and pee in front of a bunch of people. Like, I, I, maybe I'm pessimistic, but I think there are some people who are just, like, they want to be so in control of other people's, I don't, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm clearly wrong. I feel like that's, like, a very bold thing, like, you know what, I'm gonna go pee myself in public. That's a power move. (laughs) That's just, like, hey, I'm on top. Uh, But, like, (laughs) I can't believe that, that's so... Because why Wild. the way you described it seemed like she knew it was coming or just decided to. Not like she was like, oh, I'm like struggling. Like I need if <laughs> also if you're an adult, you can just decide to go to the bathroom. Like you could be like, oh, I'm going to put my basket down and I will walk to the bathroom. Right. right. I can't imagine. I mean, I, I know that some of those grocery store lines can be long, but I can't they're not, imagine. They're not that long. I can't imagine it be like. 30 minutes that's not a thing no Dude, way they're not that long that is i the amount of times i had to 
pick up something that came out of a person working as a cashier was awful. That's disgusting. It's all the time. And for some reason, it was always me. And I think it was because I didn't like really complain a lot. Obviously, it was really gross, but I just like, I'm just being told what right. to do. Right, right. But it's like kids throw up all the time. <sighs> and when they do it, they... That's a weird thing about, I'm sure you dealt with this, even though you're- I've never dealt with bodily fluids. Really? really. The one, oh. the one time so I- So being a cashier, cashier is worse than being a teacher. <laughs> oh my God. What do you, what no. do you mean? You're telling me dealing with bodily fluids doesn't just automatically win? We have entire groups of people in the country working to like get rid of teachers because they've just decided they that we're to clean up indoctrinating all kids. <laughs> Sir, if I was indoctrinating that children, I would make sure that they would bring me Starbucks every day. Do I you, can't get them to write their names on their paper. Do you remember how we started this episode? No. Jeff Bezos is single-handedly trying to wipe out every cashier in the country. So oh, yeah, be nice to the robots. Yeah. Be nice to the robots. But yeah, that's no, one person. That's one person. And he's doing it <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, i don't know i'm gonna stick with my guns i think okay. being a cashier is harder than being a teacher i'm just gonna say it i think working at a grocery store is harder yeah than but being a most people also don't know what teachers actually do when they're not in front of students teaching them things like there's so much that goes yeah, they're not doing being anything, a teacher right? i'm gonna punch you <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna you're just hanging out the teacher i'm one. like now sweating <laughs> <laughs> i really sweat in my body <laughs> well you you made me think of when you were talking about kids throwing up, mm -hmm. and I didn't experience a child throwing up when I was like at a grocery store, but when I was in line at a grocery store, I experienced a child being given a cup, like from a Starbucks that was in the grocery store, and they took the lid off. I don't know why you would ever hand, it looked like a three or a four year old. I don't know why you would hand a child of that age a cup full of liquid with no lid on it. No, because. But you know. Parents do things that yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. I don't have kids. And I don't know. So, of course, this child, what does it do? Dump the entire thing of liquid on the floor. onto the floor. Yeah. yeah. Um, and instead of actually try to clean it up, instead the parents just signaled some people who were, you know, assisting. Because I was in line for self-checkout, so they were asking the people <laughs> at the overseeing the self-checkout like, hey, hey pick, sir pick it up um so what people, they oh it's so annoying when people snap at you oh. oh sorry so no you're fine so they literally got some other they got on their walkies and they were like hey, we have a spell you know if someone can help us come clean up so some people in bright neon vests uh like obviously employees mm -hmm. with like the shirts and stuff like that but just you know the little hazard vest things that people wear yeah it, they came in with those yeah. to clean up the spill and they had the powder, you know, that you put the powder on the liquid to soak it up. You know what I'm talking about? I never have seen that actually. Oh, it's, it. it's like really neat. It's, it's fancy. It's okay. very well, nifty. Science, yeah. Like you put the you put the powder on the ground because it soaks up the liquid sure. and then you just sweep it up. It's like oh, a, a very easy way to clean up liquid spills. Okay. So they're trying to put this powder on the floor while the parents are just watching them clean mm. up and other people walking by just blatantly, not only ignoring the powder on the floor, mm but ignoring the people in the bright neon vest, just walking, like stepping into the powder oh. and tracking it or stepping into the liquid That's... puddle and tracking it further. And literally the entire self-checkout line is like, what are you doing? So Do you awful. not? People what? have no respect for strangers. No. I feel like, and it really- No. And I, I do genuinely think that that job is what gives me such a big respect for people who work in customer service yes. and that's why yes. i'm always trying to be as nice as possible and maybe like oh always overly sweet right always. But like, people are just so disrespectful of other people's time their space their energy yes. it's just it drives me nuts well one of the people that stepped in the powder when everyone like people in line were like seriously she turned back and started yelling at us in the line she's like what what i i didn't spill it and we're like yeah, but you walked. You you walked in it. You made it like, worse. You yeah. you can just not just oops, sorry, my bad, and like, keep going. You're arguing with the fact that people are like, hey, yeah. please watch where you're going. You're making their jobs more difficult. She started arguing with people in line who yeah. were telling her, please stop making the employees' job more difficult. Well, I didn't see it. It's not my fault that the spill. Ma'am, sorry, didn't see it, and walk away. Like, just walk away. Like. There's two. You're bad. I got two thoughts on this. Okay. First one is, do people just like float through life like with complete unawareness of what's happening around Apparently. them? Apparently. Because that's one part of it, right? And the other part is, how when a group of people is like, hey, you're wrong, do you double, triple, quadruple death? Nah, nah. I just don't. 
And again, I think this job is what made me have so much more like respect for the people around me and like just awareness of life because you just, you're so disrespected every single day by people who come in that you're like, oh, I never want to be that, right? Yes. I don't know. You see a lot from people who work in restaurants stuff too, the way ser previous servers treat their servers. Oh yeah. It's completely different than someone who's just never. Every time I go to a restaurant and a ser I can like clearly see a restaurant and you like, only want on shift or having a busy night or like nothing's really right. I'm like, you're okay. Like, mm. I'm fine. You go do what you know. I, I appreciate you. You're yeah. okay. Like, go do what you need to do. Because like, you know, you just know that you know what they're going through. You know the struggle. Yeah. Um. But I feel like we've been rambling a lot. Well, I'm just looking so, at him. Avery, bless his heart. For those that like don't know, Avery is trying to man all the yeah. cameras in the background. My husband. But before we wrap up, is there any last minute thoughts that you want to leave our people with? Any skills that you mm. either mentally, physically, emotionally that you gained working at a restaurant or not oh, restaurant, sure. a grocery store that you felt like helped you later in life or any last minute things that you want people to know about working in a grocery so store or anything like that? Okay, kind of like what I just said. Okay. First part is just be nice and respect. Be kind. Yeah, be kind, have empathy. Treat the people who are taking care of you, even though they're being paid, even though they're on the job, treat them like human beings and be kind back, right? I feel like you don't even have to just go out of your way to be kind, just don't be rude. Exactly, you can be, yeah, that's actually fine. <laughs> if you're just, if you're obviously just not feeling great or not feeling like talking, but just saying like, hey, thank you. That's all you need to do, right? And that's totally right. fine. I've had people, I mean, most people don't even say thank you. Most yeah. Much, like, see ya. Just like, or don't even say anything, they just walk away. Just or, like, don't tell someone they suck. Great. Like, yeah, that's I agree. You need to know that's to totally do. fine. Yeah. Just be not awful. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. You don't have to like do any extras. Just yeah. don't be a jerk. Yeah, and I think in terms of the skill set, it's first of all, like the development of, of empathy and understanding it. And then it's also just the ability, like you're so socialized. Yeah. That I, I do that. think, I was already an extroverted person, which is why I think that I got the job in the first place. But now I'm like, oh, I can literally talk to anybody. And I've just had that skill for years. Like I can I go into that. any room and talk to any person because all day you have hundreds of people yeah. that you have to have a conversation with. Well, many small talk. Yeah. Yeah, I get small talk is a skill. Like not skill. everyone can small talk very well. I like that. And maybe that's why people get so angry at cashiers. So they're like, stop trying to small talk with I me. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I can't be friendly. Oh my gosh. And then all the people who are like, oh, it didn't scan. Is it free? <gasps> okay. I'll leave with that. That's a classic. I've had so many people tell me the two lines that they hate. I want to guess more than anything. Quick. Okay. That's one of them. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to think of what the other one is. Oh, it didn't scan. Is it free? That's, yeah, that's, that's the first one of one. them. Right. And the other one has to do something with change back or something like that. As no, saying. not what? cash back, but it does have to do with cash. I don't know. You go just tell me. Uh, I've had I had like four different people send me this one. How when they have to check for counterfeits mm -hmm. and they if, if you give a big bill in any kind of establishment, they have to mark it and see if it comes back as counterfeit. Mm -hmm. And so when they hand them the bill, they're like, "Oh, don't worry, I just made it this morning." Yep. Like that's what <laughs> I had a feeling it was going that way. I did. I think I only got that one a few times because anytime it's a bill fifty or hundred at the store I worked at, you had to do the marker. Be honest. Yeah. If you if you had to. It's a dad joke, right? Yeah. Like it's dads that are that yeah. are too. Oh yeah. They're trying to make small talk and they're trying to be funny, but it's like. It's all. I think it's <laughs> almost again. Usually it was like older men for sure, <laughs> like old men or like dads. Hundred percent. It would have been my dad. Yeah. My dad does oh, those jokes, and 100%. I'm like, dad, people hate those, and I, it's funny because I'm like, Shut up. I'm not being like aggressive. My dad like, makes those jokes, and I'm like, stop. There's two, and it's the people. First of all, if it's like, for example, if it's the. Like, oh, is it free joke? You know they've used that before. And they think that the cashier's never heard it before. Do you know what I mean? And then you're like, ah, ha, ha, good one. But you also think that they, yeah. sometimes you've got to assume if they make that joke deep down, yeah. they're kind of hoping that you might be like, you know what, just take it. That's actually true. You <laughs> Just take it. And you're oh. like, sir, Yo, man, this is a Wendy's. This is also going to get me in trouble. But if you're actually really nice to your cashiers, sometimes they will just not scan stuff or miss it on purpose oh, and give really? it to you. Yeah, I would absolutely do that for people. It's kind of messed up. I'm realizing I was young, but like I, there were definitely times where people were really nice to me and I would like, there's like five or something. I would scan four of them and just put four in. Oh, and sometimes so sweet. Sometimes I would not scan some. This is like really getting deep. Sometimes I would not scan something, see if they would say anything because I know that everyone notices when something doesn't get scanned. And if they didn't say something, <laughs> I would rescan it on purpose. Oh. But if they didn't, say, if they did say something, I'd be like, "That's fine." Interesting. Am I so you, you you had your own like sociology. I had my weird little rebellion. I I am now realizing that this could get me in trouble. 
What's it? You don't work there anymore. I don't, but I've only worked at one grocery store in my life, so. And they, <laughs> they don't. They, don't they could remember. be like, you owe us like 15 cans of soup. So. Really? So did you not ever, like, they didn't do inventory checks with stuff like that? Or uh, was it so minuscule that it just I mean, didn't... it's but it's a, it's a store, and it's also, people steal from grocery stores all the time. Like, really? Again, now I'm realizing that maybe I kind of did that, but I thought I was kind of hooking people up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't put this in. <laughs> I forgot about that until now, too. Well, I, I was also always told, this will really be the last thing before we go, because yeah. I've said that a lot at this point, That's but okay. ADHD is like, no, you have more to say. Yeah, it's okay. I was always, I got a lot of people tell me that they're told by their bosses, mm -hmm. maybe I shouldn't say this either. No, I don't know. You can cut it out if you want. That if, that they're... They're told if you see someone stealing, don't say anything because the idea is that if mm -hmm. someone is stealing and they get called out, they don't want them to become aggressive and harm the cashiers or anything like that. So they're told mm -hmm. to just not say anything and to instead report it if they can yeah. um, and let the person whose job it is to deal with that yeah, deal with you that. Never but say you don't some, say anything. Yes, you never say anything to the person who's stealing. You just go tell your manager. Is that what you're saying? I guess so, yeah. yeah because then they can like get it on, they can check on security, get it, ban the person from the store or go recover it with a security guard. And then also it's like classic never pursue policy if you see, see someone like run out. I've never worked in the, I've only done, I worked at a restaurant. So I was a host, a server and a bartender. Mm -hmm. And then I was a teacher. So like I never yeah. worked in like a store or anything like that. That's you. Well, I'm so sorry. You should go try it sometime. Okay. It's a blast. Oh, no, I'm good. Yeah. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thanks for having me. And yeah, and I had so much fun. I too, it was and great. I you guys also enjoyed and learned some things about grocery stores. And <laughs> they're like, we've all been to one. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know everything we yeah. need to know. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye, lovelies. Bye, lovelies. <laughs>